Hello, my name is Kim Clear, Mill Creek Township Supervisor. And here we are today at the Mill Creek Township School District Bus Garage. And joining me is MTSD's Assistant Superintendent, Trevor Murnock. Thank you, Kim. Thank you so much for being here. School has started, the kids are back and learning. Uh, and we're asking for the community's help to make sure that all of our kids are kept safe when they're traveling to and from school. So let's talk some bus safety. Let's do that. Mill Creek Township is the best place to live and learn. Let's go for a ride. Let's do it. So MTSD is taking safety to a whole new level with a partnership with a company called Bus Patrol. That's right, Kim. Bus Patrol is a company that has installed and maintains a security system on every one of our buses in the fleet. Part of that security system are exterior cameras that are designed to record motorists who violate the law. Uh, the state law very clearly says that when a bus is stopped to unload or load students, that all motorists must stop when those red lights are flashing and the stop arm is extended. Unfortunately, we see multiple violations per bus per day of motorists not obeying that law. So the bus patrol system will record those violations and it will send that evidence to the Mill Creek Township Police Department for review. Uh, if they wish, they could issue a citation, uh, but we certainly want every motorist to be aware and to avoid that at the very beginning. And according to bus patrol, 98% of those violators are not repeat offenders. And again, we don't want any violations. We don't want any citations. So again, we're asking the community to be aware and to be responsible. And let's take a walk with Patrolman Ben Bastow now from the Mill Creek Police Department, where he's going to talk about the different types of roads and violations that could be had. Thank you so much for joining us today, My Officer pleasure, Bastow. Mr. Clear. My pleasure, Mr. Murnock. So tell us a little bit about how we can stay safe and drive safely here on the roads. Uh, the first thing I would tell residents of the township is to familiarize themselves with their routes of travel. West 26th Street uh, behind me has five lanes of traffic and it's very confusing to some operators. Um, what they don't realize is that it doesn't matter what lane of travel you're coming from or what direction. On West 26th Street, if a bus like the one next to us has its stop sign deployed, all traffic must stop from all directions. So even though there are four lanes of traffic and a, and a middle lane where you would turn, um, you still have to stop in both directions of traffic. Yes, ma'am. Yes. As a matter of fact, the only situation in which you would not have to stop is if the roadways were separated by a physical barrier. So that would include a concrete barrier, a guardrail, or even a grassy median. But if none of those things are in play, traffic approaching or running alongside, the bus must come to a stop. What happens if a motorist does violate one of the bus stop laws? What would happen is bus patrol would send Mill Creek Police Department a packet that, of information which would be reviewed by our traffic investigator. The investigator would make sure that the video corresponds with the information that's being sent over so that the make, model, and vehicle identified are actually the make and model of the vehicle that are committing the violation. And then once all of those things have been verified, the officer would approve it and it would get sent back to bus patrol for them to issue a civil fine. What could those penalties be? Uh, the civil fine from bus patrol is a $300 fine in Pennsylvania. The good thing about that is, is uh, 96 to 98 percent of people that are cited by bus patrol do not reoffend. If an officer were to pull you over on the road and issue a citation on the spot, that would be um, a moving violation punishable by up to a $250 fine plus court costs and a 60-day suspension on your license. Well, and again, that's exactly why we hope that no motorist receives a citation is aware and responsible from the beginning. I would agree with that. Thank you so much for sharing all of this information with us. It's my Officer pleasure. Bastow, we appreciate it. Thank you, Mrs. Clear. Thank you, Mr. Murnock. And thanks to you to all of you. We hope that you have a wonderful and safe school year.